Very welcome back to uh, OTBAM. Plenty coming up this hour. We're talking the future of Irish football and Irish rugby captain Johnny Sexton is going to join us as well. The lockdown lowdown, though, uh, this uh, the video that we're playing at the moment, um, obviously great to see people washing their hands so much that orangutans are joining in. Uh, <laughs> this, is, this is a very good sign, Owen, that, um, messages getting through. 100%. It's, uh, it's fantastic. It's uh, unusual that we as a human species can actually influence positivity on animals. Like I think that generally we've been uh, quite a bad thing for this entire planet. Humans, uh, some people say are the worst thing to happen and we should learn from animals more. But it's great to see that we can actually give something back to the animal kingdom and show an orangutan uh, how to, to wash their hands. So uh, we were trying to go back and uh, double check where this orangutan video was from. And it led us to uh, the original uploader, who's uh, a very, very interesting guy, or at least is a very, very interesting Twitter account, because we also, <laughs> I don't credit to Joe for uh, finding this, uh, because they had this as their pinned tweet. Just uh, three cats chilling out here. I think right now we are living in an absolute top-notch era of uh, pet content and I, I don't even mean just on social media I mean step outside all the animals look so much happier all the dogs look so much cuter uh, all the cats look so much less evil I think in general what's been happening lockdown has been uh, the only positive you can really take and there are a few very little positives to take but one of them you can take is the response of the animals they've been unbelievably happy and unbelievably cute and the, the online content is just indicative of all of that um, OK, let's let's move on. Back on the field, uh, if you enjoy the recent Boys in Green documentary, then you can find the Makers' first ever show, The Rod Squad. It's on um, Vimeo at the moment. Um, I think there's uh, three separate parts to it. And uh, Cormac Hargan is the uh, director, and, and um, it's their company, Loose Horse Productions, who made The Rod Squad back at the original one. So there's, there's a couple of different Rod Squads, actually. Um, so 2001... Roddy Collins takes over as manager of uh, Division Three club Carlisle United, an amazing documentary. Um, so worth digging that out. And uh, and Vimeo, I think it's free for this week. I'm not sure if it's going to be free for next week. So you got to get on that pretty quickly. Um, but you know, an amazing slice of what life was like at that time, and just the force of personality of Roddy Collins, which is um, is always worth spending some time with. Absolutely, I, I haven't. haven't uh, or, or, no, I haven't. I haven't. Uh seen this particular one like we're going to get a, a similar theme here because uh, on Saturday Dan McDonnell flagged the documentary that followed Ireland and Mick McCarthy's failed World Cup 1998 qualifying campaign is also on YouTube uh, it's all access and it's incredible McCarthy's Park I've seen McCarthy's Park I haven't seen any of the Rod Squads McCarthy's Park is truly brilliant and uh, not least because of the flying Kevin Kilban racing down the left wing and you have cameras there as Mick McCarthy discovers Kilban at the time uh, the attitude of McCarthy towards the RTE pundits getting so worked up after I can't remember which game it was that they won but he goes to uh, a member of staff and is pointing at him saying what, what, are, what are Giles and Dunphy saying what are they saying tell me what they're saying now and uh, it's they're, they're just brilliant like it, it's peak fly in the wall Irish football documentary sort of stuff from McCarthy's Park just a shame we didn't actually qualify but maybe the fact that we didn't qualify makes it a better documentary uh, well, it would have been better to qualify for that World Cup, you know, on our doorstep, easy to get to, and uh, one of the best festivals of football that ever happened. Would have been nice to be a, a part of that for uh, a little while, and you know, maybe we had the team that was capable of doing well out there as well. Anyway, um, let's not rake over the old fires that are still burning, essentially. When we'll talk about that a little bit later on, Mick McCarthy versus Stephen Kenny, who should be the Ireland manager for the World Cup or for the playoffs. You should get into for the Euros, obviously. Uh, get in touch with us if you've got a view on that, by the way. <clears throat> Speaking of Irish nostalgia, though, over to Alan Kelly's Twitter. He's doing some goalkeeping videos for BBC Lancashire. That is his USA 94 tracksuit, and it still fits like a glove. That's pretty impressive. Mm, Jesus, that's what a kit. Like, it's close, close to perfection. Like, were we just, are we going to look back on current tracksuits in 10, 15 years' time? or 20 years time and be like god we were they, they were still good is it just a passage of time that makes everything seem better i somehow doubt it um that's an incredible track so just one, one last thing we wanted to finish up on this morning because it's uh, a little bit of a recommendation corner at the moment michael fenley tweeting last night uh, about ozark i'm not sure if you're on the train 
it's basically Breaking Bad, but with Jason Bateman, 100%. The next thing I'm getting to after Better Call Saul, I think, which we'll be talking about later on. Um, the this the Ozark. Like I, I like I, you, you. I think you are on the train, Joe. Are you? Yeah, yeah. Did the first two seasons. Okay. Um, got to wait until we're finished Better Call Saul, and then go back and watch the end of season two again. Um, this is it. it kind of has uh, some elements because the, the Kansas City Mafia make a an appearance in it at the end of season two. And um, there's like riverboat casinos and there's uh, crazy hillbillies. And so it has kind of a, a, a mix of, it, it's got a, a rich cultural hinterland. I think it's very safe. Okay. Right. Okay. I must, I must get on it. Like it's, you, whenever you do see WhatsApp coming in saying you need to watch this, you need to watch that. You're like, nah, there's too, too many suggestions. But with this, it actually looks sensational. So we've had Fenley uh, suggesting Ozark on Twitter last night. Yeah. Okay. So we'll, uh, we might talk to him about that as, uh, as time goes on now. Irish rugby captain Johnny Sexton is going to join us next here this morning on OTBM. But first, we want to bring you back to earlier on this week on Off the Ball, where we reignited the rivalry between Ron Magara and David Humphreys. A brilliant piece, great conversation between the two lads. Uh, well worth checking out on youtube.com forward slash off the ball and on the OTB podcast network. Here is Ron Magara on the burning rivalry between the two at the time. As we 